Hey guys, it's Sarah. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to capture what is happening in America today. I did a lot about the coronavirus and, and now I want to cover what's happening with the Black Rights Matter movement. Um, this is a significant event affecting us nationwide um, and there's even countries overseas that are taking a stand for the Black Rights Matter movement. What started this movement was the loss of a black life. Um, his name is George Floyd and he was murdered by a white police officer named Derek Chauvin. He put his knee to his neck for nine minutes, holding him to the ground face down. Um, Floyd was being arrested for use of counterfeit money and was murdered for a crime that several people get away with much easier than he did. Um, there was no reason for his death other than pure racism that continues to be a part of our country since we were founded. In an article in the New York Times written by Giovanni Ruffolino called Why Most Americans Support the Protests, Ruffolino states, and I'm gonna read it because I don't wanna screw up what he says, never before in the history of modern polling has the country expressed such a widespread agreement on racism's pervasiveness in policing and in society at large. This is a movement that is affecting every single person and it's come to a point that not having a voice isn't enough, not being just a non-racist isn't enough. You have to be anti-racist and we have to um, fight for these people's rights because they have been oppressed for far too long and far too much um, and it's got to be stopped. So um, today I'm going to a protest in Schaumburg um, just to see what it's about. Of course, it's not a Chicago protest. Um, it's not one that is going to be um, filling the streets of Chicago. It's just um, a smaller protest in Schaumburg, but I think that it's good to attend, um, to learn, to educate ourselves, and to see what is really happening in the world today. So I want to be able to show those of you who are not able to attend the protest um, kind of what they're about. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, so we were a little bit late. We just parked on a side street. We're walking over to the protest, but we can hear them and we can see them. Um, so I'm hoping to get a video of um, them from afar. So it might've actually worked out in our favor. kind of dragged behind them a little bit, but because of that, I was able to make some friends. Um, and uh, I met a couple different guys that they were super nice and we just talked about history book stuff and how um, things are wrong. And I think like one of the biggest things that's interesting that I'm figuring out just from being here right now is that like, I was, I was afraid that people were gonna like look at me and be, like angry because like I'm white, but it's not, it's totally not white versus black. It's totally just anti-racist versus racist. I don't know, I think it's a pretty cool experience. I'm enjoying it so far. There's been a couple moments that was a little uncomfortable just because I don't want to make anybody upset, but um, so far so good. Um, I will report back soon on anything else that's happening. I know there's a rally going on at four. I'm not sure if we're gonna go to that, but um, updates to come. Oh, and I have my sign, Black Lives Matter. I will never understand, but I stand. So, to continue marching. We literally stopped traffic. Like, it was like a green light on the middle of golf and there was like this huge intersection and they just walked right through like no mercy. I was towards the back. No mercy, just fucking walked right in front of all the cars. It was green lights and people were honking, but it wasn't like honking like they were pissed. It was like people just kept honking like, woo, Black Lives Matter and people kept doing the, this thing. And um, it was really awesome like that they totally stopped traffic and police were like directing it. So that was nice. Um, there's been a couple cop cars that have been kind of following us, but um, I think that's just protocol. I don't know. I'm not going to really speak on that because it makes me nervous. But um, 
I don't know, it was like, it made me nervous, like seeing the cops because it's just kind of like, why are you stalking around here? Like I get that it's their job, but we weren't really doing anything wrong. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm pissed because I didn't catch that. We fucking stopped traffic on video. I tried to get it, but by the time I got my phone out to record, it was too late. So, but this is me telling you that it happened. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just got back. Um, we didn't go to the rally, kind of disappointed. Um, I I don't know why, we just kind of got in the car and just drove home. I wasn't driving, so um, we just missed out. Overall takeaways, um, there were definitely points that, well, so first of all, I didn't get there right when it started, and I was disappointed about that because I didn't know if they did like a nine minutes of silence type of thing. Maybe they just started. Um, I They didn't. By the time we got there, we got there maybe like 10 after it started, so around 2.40. And um, people had already, they had started walking, but they weren't too far ahead of us. So there was some lagging behind as well with us. So we were able to connect with some people, make some friends, like I think I talked about earlier. But even though we weren't with the pack, um, we still had our signs and people on the street that were driving were honking their horns and holding up their fists. Um, and it was just really cool to see all of that. Um, so once we finally caught up with the big group of people, we were, um, following with their, they had the megaphone and were chanting things like Black Lives Matter, say his name, George Floyd, um, uh, they said, get off my neck, uh, Breonna Taylor, say her name. Um, so just like a whole bunch of, um, powerful statements there were there's no, nothing negative nobody said like fuck the police or anything like that it was all super positive and all super just they want justice and they want peace i can only speak for this rally that was happening in the suburbs i can't speak for other rallies that are happening in bigger cities that i know there have been more um controversy and contradiction but um for this one it was a good size group of people i'd say maybe easily 100 people um but that was like a smaller amount for um, what's been typically happening in Chicago. So um, it was really impactful. I think that it was interesting the way that it made me feel. I'm used to being in situations that are supposed to make you uncomfortable and they normally don't because I'm there for the right reason. And that was the same thing of course today, but um, it still was like just a little uncomfortable. And I mean, but everybody was super nice. Um, I was making friends, like I said, so it wasn't, it, it, I think it was super apparent that it's not at all white versus black, non-black versus black, police versus black. I mean, of course that is, but it's genuinely just anti-racist versus racist. And like, they won't stand for anything less. No justice, no peace. That was another thing they were yelling. I mean, how many people drove past us on the street? We stopped traffic, people. Like... So many people see that this and be, I think it's so great that it's trickling into the suburbs and in each town because people everywhere need to see this. I don't think it's a matter of Republican versus Democrat. It's just, it simply comes down to if you're racist or if you're not. And there's absolutely no reason in this day and age for us to feel a certain way towards somebody else. We are all equal. We are all people. We all bleed the same. We all have the same insides. We all have the same drive to get through life and succeed and be happy. And why is that wrong? Why can we, why, who is it, who can take somebody's happiness away from, from them? Who has that much power that they can have a say in how a person lives and feels and breathes? We are making a change. This generation is making a change. And I really have faith that the severity of this issue and the um, extreme levels of protest that are happening today will really make a change. I mean, the civil rights movement was a huge thing. Yes, obviously it's it wasn't enough. It, like we had like we're still dealing with this, and that's not okay. But it was a step, and we just keep taking these steps. And I I know that this is going to be another step. I know that. Their voices are yelling so loud that when you have a black cashier, when you have a black accountant working on your taxes, when you have a black taxi driver, when you walk past a black man in a hoodie on the street that you no longer feel afraid, you're gonna think in your brain 
that that person is equal because that is what is being railed into everybody's heads in social media, on the street, when you're driving in your car, on TV, whatever you do in your life, it's gonna be jammed into our heads because this is so prominent in our lives. And I think that that is what it, we're doing. I think that is what this movement is about, is just spreading that word and bringing awareness so that when we see a black person, we think, if we have a, a wrong thought, we think, oh my God, why would I think that? This is exactly what they're talking about. So I'm really happy that I went today. I was unsure about going just because I didn't want to do the wrong thing, but doing the wrong thing would have been not going. So I'm grateful for that experience. I really would like to go to one in Chicago. Um, I really feel like these protests are making an impact and it feels good that I was a part of one of them. All right, guys, well, that's it for today's video. Um, if you could like and subscribe, that would really help me out a lot. I'd really appreciate it. But other than that, stay healthy, stay well, and don't die with your music still inside of you. Bye, guys.